Here's how to make money on Fiverr without any skill. Over the past few months, I made consistently $10,000 with Fiverr. Even though Fiverr is a platform where you should sell your skills for money, I found a way to make money on Fiverr without doing any of the work yourself. It, I want to show you how you can do this in five simple steps. I will try to explain this as simply as possible so that no matter who you are, how old you are, or where you are coming from, you can watch this tutorial, follow all of the steps, and set up this easy side online hassle for yourself. Somewhere at the end of this video, I will even show you how you can maximize your results and earn more money by using an additional platform. Before we dive into today's content, take a moment to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon. First of all, you will need to head over to Fiverr. According to SimilarWeb, Fiverr is being visited by 50 million people all over the world every single month. 50 million come over to Fiverr.com. Fiverr is an absolutely free worldwide platform where you can go and either provide services, sell your services, and sell your skills, or someone else can come and buy those services from you. Now, we will obviously not be buying anything from Fiverr, but I want to show you how you can use this freelancing platform to make money online without doing the work yourself. So you can use this and make money with Fiverr with no previous skills because I'm going to show you how you can get everything done for yourself, and this works in any category you want to focus on, whether that's graphic design, voiceovers, video editing, app development, web development, web design, whatever category you can think of, you can complete all of them with no skills. First of all, I want you to come over to FiverrR.com and click on the Join button right here. Step number 1, Signing up to FiverrR.com You can do so either by joining with Facebook, Google, or Apple or just manually enter your email address in this box and click Continue. The sign-up process should not take more than 2 minutes, and it's necessary if you want to make this work. You don't need skills, but you need a Fiverr account to make money with Fiverr. So just go out there and sign up to FiverrR.com now. Because there are literally millions of people on Fiverr that are providing their services. In order to stand out and actually be successful with this, you need to do some research first before you jump into selling those services. So first of all, let's do a quick research on Fiverr. I've logged into my account right now. This is how it's going to look like as soon as you log in as well. This is the dashboard where you can see all of the categories available. We have graphic design, digital marketing, writing and translation, video and animation, music and audio, and much more here on the right side. Now, I want to show you that whatever service you want to focus on, since you will not be completing the service yourself, because I'm going to show you how to do it with no skills and how to complete any service from Fiverr without doing the work yourself, you can focus on anything. But you want to make sure that you're focusing on the right service that can actually get you some results. Now, in order to do the proper research, I personally prefer to use Fiverr, and this is already Fiverr.com. This is like a Fiverr seller assistant. So what I like to do is go over to Fiverr tools right here and we will go to Keyword Analytics. I know that when starting out, most people just want to focus on some quick services, like logo design, or a video editing service, or something like that. Let me show you something. If we go over to the search bar and target some keywords, let's say logo design, and I click Analyze Keyword, that's going to show us that there are over 1 lakh 19 thousands plus services already selling for logo design and over 1 lakh 19 thousand plus gigs selling logo designs. So the competition is extremely high for logo designs. So what I personally like to do is focus on low competition niches, low competition service. So I don't want to focus on services that are going to make me only a couple of dollars, especially because we will be doing the strategy that I will show you at the end of the video. But you definitely want to focus on services. But I want to show you that there, the competition is super high, so we want to focus on some other service. Let's try, for example, video editing. You can analyze any keyword in any service here. There are over 43,000 people providing video editing service on Fiverr, and the average, so the competition is still high, 43,000 people is still a lot. So, I'm going to go back to Fiverr and I'm going to go through all of these different categories. 
For example, I'm going to select video and animation. I'm going to see what these people are providing within the video and animation category. We have animation, social and marketing videos, motion graphics, social and marketing videos, whiteboard and animated explainers, and so on. And since you will not be doing the work yourself, you can literally choose any of these services in any category you prefer. So, even though animated explainers may sound a little bit complicated, don't worry because you will not be completing them yourself. So you can literally do any of these jobs and sell any of these services, because I'm going to show you how to do it in multiple different ways. Not only one way to make money on Fiverr without skills, but actually multiple ways you can do this and sell those services without completing the work yourself. So, let's check, for example, lyric and music videos. I will go back to Fiverr.com. I will type in a lyric and music video. I will analyze the keyword, and that's going to show us that there are, let it just load. I will type in a lyric and music video, 8000 gig. For step number two, I just wanted to go over to Fiverr, go through all of these different categories, and find the one which you want to focus on. And once you find the category you like, just use Fivalytics to do some research to see if the competition is way too high, and it's going to be super hard to get any results as a complete beginner since we are starting this from scratch with brand new accounts. And it's going to be really high to rank among hundreds of thousands of other services that have already been on Fiverr for a very long time. So, just focus on low competition services, with high average price. Now, I want to show you how to rank on Fiverr. So, how to actually set up your gigs in order to help them rank higher in Fiverr, so you can get those organic sales. Not only will I show how you can get free traffic as well, additional external traffic, but I also want to show you how to rank on Fiverr so you can get organic traffic as well. Alright, now, in this step, we will be talking about how to rank on Fiverr. Yes, I will be showing you how to get additional external free traffic somewhere at the end of this video, but I also want to show you how to rank high on Fiverr so you can get that organic traffic as well because, as you saw, so you definitely want to take a slice of that huge portion of traffic. I will be using the social content for Instagram categories, so I will be using the gig, the service where someone creates content for your Instagram page. According to Fiverr, let me show you there are over 2,000 services 2,000 gigs the competition is super low. So that's the category that I will be using. This is not the one that you should necessarily focus on, you can do any other category. Just do your research and see if the competition is low and if the average price is high. Now, before I start creating my gig, I'm going to do one more research, and that's to actually sort this by best selling. So I will see which services are the best selling when it comes to my category. You can see that this person is creating content for Instagram for $25, starting at $25, and they've gotten over 138 sales, 138 feedbacks. And keep in mind that not every single person will have feedback on Fiverr. So they probably got a lot more sales. And if you open up any of these gigs, I can assure you that all of them have higher plans. And this is just a starting point for like, which may seem like a little bit low, but that is actually probably for like 10 different images or something like that. If you want a full service, then it's going to be $120 in this case. So I want to see what works for them, which titles are they using, how are they promoting their gigs. I want to check out their description, what they are putting in there just to get an idea of what the best sellers are doing when it comes to this particular category, what works for them, and what is getting results for them. So I can use that knowledge for my own gigs. I'm not telling you to just copy and paste the best sellers, because that's not the way to go. You just want to get an idea of what they are doing and see what works the best for that particular category on Fiverr. So maybe short titles are working better with my category, so I'm going to do the same for my own gig. So I will start creating my gig, and I will give the gig title, so I will create Instagram content and manager account. So right off the bat, we have three different keywords actually three different keywords, we have Instagram, we have Instagram content, and we have managing your account. Those are three different keywords that someone can type in into Fiverr, and my gig is most likely to pop up. I will select the category, it's going to be digital marketing and social media marketing. I will select Instagram right here, nothing else. I will type in the search tags, 
This is also super important. You want to use the tags that you think people will actually search for. So, for example, Instagram content, I'm going to type in Instagram management, I'm going to type in Instagram marketing, and just Instagram right here. Those are the keywords that I will be using for this gig. I will save and continue to the next step. Now I need to set up my packages or my pricing plans. You can, of course, go with only one pricing plan, but that's not what I would recommend. You always want to make sure you have all three packages, because that's going to help you maximize your results. And here's the thing, you can set your basic package to be only $5. So, when someone sees your gig on Fiverr, they're going to be, oh, this is $5. They're going to click on that, they're going to see you're cheaper than everybody else. They open up this, and they see that for $5, they will only get the basic for that service. They will not get a full SE. They will not get a full service. But if they want to get a full service, they can get a standard or premium plan, which is, in this case, can be like 40, 50, or 100 bucks. So, I suff Instagram content, or maybe that's a lot. Let's actually do three days of Instagram content. I will give it a brief description, but make sure to also include as many keywords as you can, both in the title here and the description as well because the Fiverr algorithm is going to pick up those keywords. So, I will say something along the lines of, I will create Instagram content and manage your account for three days. These are also different keywords that I'm including to make sure that the Fiverr algorithm picks up this gig. Delivery time is going to be three days for three days of Instagram content. Revisions, one revision or zero revision. This is all optional. You can optionally select whether they will get a page setup, page optimization, tailored marketing plan or not. I don't do that for the basic plans, of course. Like, for the basic plans, they will only get the basics, and that's going to cost only $5. I will set the price to be $5 for this one social media post 3. And then we have the standard plan, which is in this case going to be like 2 weeks of Instagram content. So, 14 days of Instagram content. I'm adding different keywords again. This is going to be 14 days delivery, revisions through. I can also add a page setup in this as well. Social media post is going to be 14 in this case. So, just fill out your gig, I will add 14 days, and I will set the price to be, for example, 80 for this service for 2 weeks of managing and creating content for their Instagram account. This is going to be 80. Now, once again, keep in mind that you will not be doing any of the work yourself. So, you can actually complete as many of these services as you can. So, it's not like you can get one client and then you need to spend days and weeks creating content for them. You can focus on more clients. You can only focus on one. But if you're not doing the work yourself, you can complete 1,000 services in a single week and have 1,000 clients because, once again, you're not doing the work yourself. I'm going to show you how to do that as well. And then we have the premium plan, which is going to be 30 days of Instagram content, which is something that most people will actually opt for. They want a full package so they can get content every single month. And this is also really good because if you provide a good service, people will come back and they can sign up for like 6 or 12 months or 16 months, 18 months for your service. And you can actually make quite a lot of money. So, this is a retainer. This is not a one-time service to sell. This is something that people use on a monthly basis. Some people are building their businesses through Instagram and they need your content. So, they will come back for more every single month as long as your content is good. And I will show you how to make sure that it is, even though you are not completing the work yourself. And the price for this is going to be 300. So, this is the highest plan, which is, in this case, going to be 300 for 30 days of Instagram content and management. You can also add extra services to upsell customers, like the extra fast delivery, additional revisions, page setup, and so on. I'll, for example, add extra fast delivery. So, if they want an extra fast delivery, for example, for the premium plan, let's say I'm going to complete it instead of 30 days, I'm going to complete it in 14 days for an extra 100. 
So, this is an optional step which you can add to maximize the value of your customers and to maximize your results. Now, this is a really important part, writing a description for your gig. You want to be as descriptive as possible, but also include as many keywords as possible to help you rank higher on Fiverr. So, include all sorts of different keywords that you think people would search for when searching for a service like this. So, here, I wrote a pretty long description, but make sure to do that as well because that's definitely going to help you over a longer period of time. So, just invest like 5 to 10 minutes now to write a really nice description of your gig because that's going to attract the customers, and it's also going to help you rank higher on Fiverr. You can also add frequently asked questions, and in this, you can also include different keywords. Add different keywords. In this case, like Instagram management, Instagram marketing, like, what is Instagram management? Then you will type a brief description of what that is, how can I benefit from this? and stuff like that. And just include as many keywords as you can both in the description, the frequently asked questions, and the title of your gig if you want to help yourself rank higher on Fiverr. So, I'm gonna save and continue, and we're gonna go to the next one. Now we will need an actual image for our Fiverr gig. This is like a banner for your gig when someone searches for your service, this is what they will be able to see first. It's kind of like your thumbnail on YouTube. Just as you have thumbnails on YouTube, you have those thumbnails on Fiverr as well. Let me show you how I would create it professionally for the highest click-through rate. To create my gig design, I personally prefer to use Canva because it's absolutely free and completely beginner-friendly. So, you don't need any graphic design skills to do this. And it's probably going to take you less than 10 minutes because it's already pretty much done for you. Now, we will not be using Canva to complete those services in Fiverr, this is only to show you how you can create your gig design. This is like a thumbnail for your service. So, this is only a one-time usage while you're creating your gig design. Go over to canva.com, sign up for free, go to the search bar, and type in thumbnail because I want to use thumbnail templates. I'll show you that it's all pretty much done for you. You can go through all of these and see which one you like. Once you find the one you like, you can just click on it and customize it as you prefer. For example, I want to use this one right here. I will click on it, and now I can start customizing it. I can remove this image and add my own image. Go to Uploads, Upload My Own Image, and place it. You don't have to add your own image, you can customize it as you prefer. This is how I would personally do it because gig designs with the face included are more likely to get sales they stand out and have a personal vibe. Adding your face can increase your sales, but it's an option, you don't have to do it. Now, I can customize this text on the left-hand side. I will type in, for example, Instagram content plus management. You can change everything, the effects, size, font, colors, literally everything is customizable with Canva. You can make pretty amazing designs using canva.com, even though it's an absolutely free online tool, it can definitely help you create some professional designs, which have a super high click-through rate on Fiverr. Shrink this text a little bit, spend a bit more time creating your design to make sure it's perfect. Once you're done, press the download button. This was quick, literally took less than 60 seconds. I just wanted to show you how simple it is to create those gig designs with Canva. Once you're done, press the download button, download it to your computer, go back to Fiverr, click on Browse, upload that design, and now you will have your Fiverr gig design, and you are ready to publish your gig. Go to Save and Continue and Publish Your Gig. Now, I'll show you how to actually complete all of those services without doing the work yourself so you can make money on Fiverr without any skills. Later in this tutorial, I will show you how to get free traffic to your Fiverr gig to increase your sales. But now, I want to show you how you can complete any service without doing the work yourself. You can refer to other freelancing platforms, but there is one trick. I don't want to just go over to different freelancing platforms, buy services for a bit cheaper, and then make the difference. That's a good way to make money, but I'll show you how to maximize your results. With this, you're kind of doing drop servicing. You can go over to platforms like peopleperhour.com, other platforms like upwork.com, freelancer, and so on. 
There are lots of different freelancing platforms that are Fiverr alternatives where you can find the same services for a bit cheaper. So, if you sell a service on Fiverr for $100, whenever someone buys from you, you can go through a different freelancing platform, find a freelancer that's going to do the job for you for $50, $40, or $30. You keep the difference, but also keep in mind that Fiverr takes a 20% upfront fee. So, when someone buys from you for $100, Fiverr will take $20. You're left with only $80. That's also something to be considered. You want to find someone that's going to complete that job or service for less than $80 so you're going to be profitable. Since you're not doing the work yourself, you can scale this so much because you can sell unlimited services per month. You can literally sell millions of services per month because you're not completing anything yourself. This is a great business model, similar to drop shipping, but for digital services from Fiverr. For example, if I go over to peopleperhour.com, which is a good Fiverr alternative, I can scroll a bit and find someone on the first page who's going to create 30 social media posts, 30 Instagram posts for $190. If I'm selling that service on Fiverr for $300. Now, I can already keep some difference. I can pay, for example, this seller right here $190 and keep $90 profit for myself from just one single client that can come back month after month. You also want to make sure that the services you are reselling have five-star reviews and that people are actually saying nice things about your services, so your customers are also satisfied and they will come back for more. Now, here's a trick on how to maximize your results. Instead of jumping under the first seller that you find on a different freelancing platform for which you want to resell those services, I want you to contact the seller first, or actually, contact 10 or 15 different sellers and try to negotiate the price a little bit. You can tell them that you will be using their services on a monthly basis, that you will be using their services again and again, and that you will bring lots of different clients. Ask them to reduce the price for you. For example, I can ask this seller right here to charge me $140 or $130 instead of $190. I will actually make even more money, and the profit margin is going to be a lot higher. That's one way to do it. Go over to different freelancing platforms like peopleperhour.com, quickinggigs.com, truelancer.com, guru.com, and so on. Find the same service for a little bit cheaper. When someone buys from you on FiverrR.com, you just take your customer's requirements, go to a different freelancing platform, find a seller, pay them a little bit less to complete the same service, deliver the completed work to your customer, and keep the difference as a middleman. One of the best ways to do this is to use Upwork. This is where the Upwork account comes in. On here, you can actually create your own job listing. You can post a job on Upwork, and people will start bidding for that. For example, if you posted a service on Fiverr, like Instagram content creation, now you can post a job on Upwork and say, I need someone to create content for my Instagram account. People will start bidding, sending their proposals, and they will try to outbid each other by sending lower and lower prices to stand out. Professionals will list their services for a bit cheaper than on Fiverr. For example, on Upwork.com, you can get lots of people sending proposals for your jobs for like $50 less than you can find on Fiverr. So, I would post a listing like, I need 30 Instagram posts, and I can find someone who will do it for $100, and I'm selling that service for $300 on Fiverr. You can see how much potential this has, and it's simple and straightforward. Someone buys from you on Fiverr, take their requirements, place an order on Upwork or any other freelancing platform, get delivered work, deliver it to your customer. It's as simple as that. My recommendation for you to maximize your results is to negotiate those prices as much as you can to maximize your profit margin. Now that you know how to complete any service on Fiverr and make money without any skills, this is a bonus step on how you can maximize your results, earn more money, and drive additional traffic to your gigs to make more sales. This is an optional step, you don't have to complete this one but it is going to improve your chances of getting more sales and making more money overall with your Fiverr gigs. That's to use YouTube as an additional traffic source. You can make videos related to the services you want to provide. These videos can be on any topic you prefer, 
something you're interested in or want to talk about. You don't have to show your face, you can create screen share or presentation type videos. There are many ways to run a faceless YouTube channel and drive traffic through your Fiverr gigs. For example, if my service is about Instagram management and content creation, helping people with their Instagram business, I can create a video on Instagram tips. Even if I don't know much about Instagram, I can go to Google, learn in 10 minutes, watch a couple of videos, and create a short video giving Instagram tips. I can tell viewers that if they want a full service of Instagram management and content creation, since these viewers are already interested, most of them will click on the link and may purchase the service. This not only gets you sales and increases revenue, but also boosts your rankings on Fiverr, leading to more organic sales. You can grow your Fiverr account quickly with additional traffic from social media. Create content that provides value, helps people, and tell them they can buy a service from you on Fiverr, leaving a link. If you want to supercharge your Fiverr business, use additional traffic sources from platforms like YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Create content that provides value, and tell your audience they can buy your service on Fiverr. Hit that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell, to stay updated on all our latest videos.